Namaste. Welcome and greetings. I am Magic Laqua. It's gonna stop a virus. No. Um, this got y'all listening now. Some witchcraft for that ass. Too late to turn away. Abracadabra and all that good shit. Yo. Hocus pocus got you focused on my rhyme. Simply easy now. I'm eating couch potatoes. My keys to go home. Dora Pauls. While rest to end it all. It feels amazing to have one. I'm not planning to ball, but why not take the chance to sun? No, I don't need it all. Can think of a thing I don't want. Do I worship the sun? Or sold my soul for the tongue? Or destined since I was young? Or got some booty? Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> What's up, people? What's up? So, got a good one, an oldie but a good one for you today. Um, I did this video on uh, basic sigil magic right when I first started the channel, which was, I want to say, right around six years ago. Okay, I decided to redo it, kind of update it. All right, um, a sigil. Okay, first of all, let's, let's, a sigil is a, a sign or a symbol. Okay, sigil magic is one of the easiest kinds of magic that you can do. Okay, the techniques I've given out so far um, are things that you can do that anybody can do. You don't have to be initiated or anything like that. Real easy. Um, you won't be going too far into it so you know it's a great thing the things that I've given out so far okay um, it's not something for an advanced practitioner basically for a beginner all right so uh, sigil magic again is another one of my favorite types of magic simply because you can use it for just about anything all right um a sigil or a symbol is a representation of something okay angels have their own sigils demons have their own sigils um it's really really simple but you can make your own and when you do that you just call it on the power of the universe and your own being. One more time, sigil magic is really easy and it's actually fun in my opinion because you get real creative with it. This falls in line with chaos magic. Okay? Falls in line with chaos magic. And a lot of people I noticed have um, veered towards chaos magic because for one, there's no deities to worship or to call on. It's all you. So, you know, a lot of people are more comfortable doing that as opposed to calling on a particular voodoo deity or some other uh, system of magic like the Goetia or the Clip Off or the Kabbalah. All right? So, a sigil, they are powerful. Okay? Um, the thing is, with a sigil, you have to leave nothing to chance. You have to be very, very specific when it comes to sigil magic. All right, let me give you an example. I still remember this example because I think it's hilarious. All right, um, a guy who was kind of mentoring me in voodoo, all right, um, he wanted to meet a fine model type chick, all right? Follow me here, a fine model like chick, all right? So what he do, he created a sigil to bring that certain model type chick to him, right? Okay, um, about a week later, he ran into a fine model like chick 
but it was a guy. <laughs> it was so funny. That's why I say you cannot leave anything up to chance. You had to be extremely specific. This was a tranny that he pulled. <laughs> All these years later, and I still think that story is one of the funniest I've ever heard. So, you see that sigil magic can be very powerful, but you have to be extremely specific about it, okay? Um, years ago, I, I needed a job, alright? I drew a sigil out. I launched it, I forgot about it. Three days later, three days later, I got called for a job. Not an interview, a job. They asked me if I just wanted to accept it. They did not need an interview, they just hired me. This is how powerful sigil magic is, okay? <laughs> uh, one of the principles though, you write a statement in intent. A statement in intent. <laughs> a statement of intent. Okay? Write your statement of intent. You have to have a, a, a clear sentence on what you want. Alright? So, never, never use the words I want. Try to work, use the words I will. So I decided to go ahead Today is green. <laughs> um, let's use an example. Use the words I will. See that? I will. I will. Alright. Let's think of something to 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 uh, that we want to manifest. Um uh, I will I will increase my income or I will increase my cash flow I will increase my cash flow. Okay? Follow me so far? Cool. First thing you want to do is scratch out or mark out repeating letters. The first repeating letter that I see is L. L. Okay. Did I mark those out? L. All right, move on. I start with the, the consonants first. There's an N there. Okay, I see two C's. Cross out the C's. All right, cool. There's two S's. Let's see. I'm sorry. Yeah, two S's. Okay. Alright. There's an H there. Not many. Not many repeating letters in that statement. So what I'm going to do now is mark out. I always leave the I. The first I, I leave there. Okay. Alright. Now I'll mark out the vowels. All the vowels. I... Those E A E A O. There we go. See all those marked out? Alright. I think that's it, and it is. <laughs> so, next line, I write down the letters that are left L and N R. Let's see. M Y S H W. That's what I have left out of that statement. Make these statements as long as you want. Okay? Alright. So, 
you can go down the line or you can just take whatever number, I mean, whatever letter appeals to you. I usually like to take the I first, okay? So I take the I. There we go. Let's cross it out. Take the W. The W is next. Take the W and put it somewhere. I like to put it like right here. See that W right there? Cross it out. Go to the L. I usually like to make this like uh, this, just one example, like that. There's the L. Right there. Okay? Cross that out. Then you have an N. I'm going to put the N right there. Trust me, it's going to look crazy when I'm done. By the time I'm done, it's going to look really crazy. All right, there's the N. See that? The N. Cross it out. There's an R. Uh, put the R right there. There's the R. Right there. Okay. Cross it out. Go to the M. The M I'm going to put on the top. Right up there. There. Now. Cross it out. Go to the Y. And go to the Y right here. That's the Y. Okay. Cross it out. There's an S there. I'm going to go to the S right that. <laughs> that looks really crazy when I look at it. But there's the S. Okay. Cross it out. Got two letters left. Got the H, which is I'm going to put on the side like this. Put it over here. Okay. Last. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the last letter. Okay. So, that is the sigil that I came up with. Okay? You can be as creative as you want. Alright? Okay. Before I go any further, let me show you examples of main sigils already. Here's one of the sigils of Solomon. Okay? Notice that there are Jewish letters there. Here is a sigil for the demon Klonek. From the Grimorium Verum. That's its symbol. Think of it as a spirit calling card. Okay. This is from the Goetia. This is Boom. You see that? Goetia. Okay. This is one of Marduk's names. Okay. See how simple that is? Okay. Last but not least. Beleth, another Goetia demon. All right. Just think of this as your personal calling card. That's our sigil. From I will increase my cash flow, that's what I came up with. All right. Okay. What I like to do is take about five. I make five statements of intent and make sigils out of them. Trust me, they look extremely crazy. Look at that. They don't look crazy there? <laughs> it's crazy, I know. But the subconscious mind reads it perfectly. It doesn't matter how it doesn't matter how crazy it looks. Alright? You can get it even more simplified than this by taking out the lines. There's a whole process that you can go through. Before that, I suggest going to either Phil Hine or Peter Carroll books on chaos magic all right what do you do next the next thing is to launch the sigil you have to launch it into the atmosphere i'm sorry not launch it but yeah you have to launch it you have to consecrate it first and then launch it what do you consecrate it with here's the thing the most powerful way that I found that this works is if you smear your sexual fluids all over it. How you get those sexual fluids out? Completely up to you. But 
if you are going the route where you are pleasing yourself make sure at the point of climax that you are staring at this sigil matter of fact while you are pleasing yourself you should be staring the whole time but especially at that point in time at climax at the very point of it make sure this is all you're focused on okay remember your 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 orgasms actually originate from here all right so sexual fluids or ladies menstrual fluids or I have even used my spit. But remember, bodily fluids, most powerful fluids in the universe. Okay? All right. You launch it. That's launching it. You can either bring yourself to orgasm to launch it, or you can sneeze. Make yourself sneeze uncontrollably while staring at it. Okay? That launches it. That bypasses the conscious mind. Or laugh uncontrollably. Laugh real hard while staring at it. I know this sounds really crazy, but it works. Chaos magic. Okay? After that, you are done. Completed. You have performed sigil magic. Very simple. Right? Right. Hopefully this has helped somebody out there. Okay? There are other ways. Trust me, there are other ways. There's no one perfect way to do any of this. Okay? There are other ways. I found that this, these ways that I've showed you, these are very simple, very effective. That's all we're looking for. We're looking for effectiveness. Whatever works should be your mantra. Okay? Whatever works. I am the one and only magical, mystical, magic LaCroix. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.